Hello my dear friends, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be discussing about extracting metals low in the activity series. Now friends, if I talk about the reactivity series, it is simply a series wherein metals are arranged in an increasing or decreasing order of their reactivity, right? So over here you can see metals which are more reactive than hydrogen, they are placed above hydrogen, whereas metals which are less reactive than hydrogen are placed below hydrogen, right? So as you can see over here, reactivity series is simply this arrangement, right? So reactivity series is simply this series wherein the metals, they are arranged in the increasing or decreasing order of their reactivity, right? Now, as you move from top to bottom in the reactivity series, what happens is the reactivity of the metal goes on decreasing, which means that the metals which are placed at the top of the reactivity series, they are highly reactive metals. And as you move from top to bottom in the reactivity series, the reactivity goes on decreasing. So, the metals which are present at the bottom are called as less reactive metals, right? So, friends, here we saw that reactivity series is simply the arrangement of metals in an increasing or decreasing order of their reactivity. As we move from top to bottom in the reactivity series, the reactivity goes on decreasing, which means that the metals which are placed at the top of the reactivity series, they are said to be highly reactive metals. Whereas, the metals which are placed at the bottom of the reactivity series are said to be less reactive metals. So, now friends, can you tell me which is the most reactive metal? Yes, exactly, it is potassium. And can you tell me which is the least reactive metal? Yes, it is gold because it is placed at the bottom of the reactivity series, right? So, friends, what are less reactive metals? Yes, metals which are placed at the bottom of the reactivity series are called as less reactive metals. Since these metals are less reactive, they are always found in the free state in nature because these less reactive metals, they do not easily react with other elements, right? For example, gold, silver and platinum. These metals are present at the bottom of the reactivity series and so they are said to be less reactive. These metals being less reactive, they are found in the free state in nature. But friends, there are certain metals which actually occur in the combined form. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.